everyone, welcome back to Ant's Vienna. After learning how to identify a queen ant in the last video, today we're going to discuss when you can catch those queens. First, we'll take a look at the ant life cycle in order to help you understand those fascinating insects. All starts with a young queen nesting. This can be in the dirt, under a stone, or in a tree hut. After that, she will begin to lay eggs, which are oval shaped and tiny. Then, the worm like larvae hatch. They have no eyes, no legs, and can only eat food provided by adult ants. The larvae shed their skin many times as they increase in size. After reaching a certain size, the larva spins a silk like cocoon around itself and pupates. During this time, the body changes into its adult form. This whole cycle usually lasts from 4 to 12 weeks depending on the species. And while some workers can live up to 7 years, there are queens that live up to 30 years. The entire cycle is repeated until the colony reaches a certain size, a number of individuals. When that happens, the queen starts laying unfertilized eggs, which produce male ants, as well as bigger, fertilized eggs that turn into young queens, princesses, with the help of specific nutrition they receive. After maturing, the males and princesses, also named alates, Wait until the perfect day comes to start their nuptial flight. Nuptial flight is essentially the season when alates from all colonies of a certain ant species fly out in order to mate. After mating, the males die, since they have accomplished their purpose, while the fertilized princesses now seek the right spot to nest as young queens. This is the time that you should be around to catch them. Okay, that's enough for today. I hope you liked the video. Please give me a thumbs up if you did. And don't forget to subscribe, because next comes where and how to catch your queen, as well as what equipment you might need to do so. Okay, see you in the next one, guys.